Simon, a dangerous idea Simon is thinking Day. about freedom. It's incredible to think that it's a dangerous idea, but in some countries, being free, it's very complicated, very dangerous. What do you think about it? You were in some cases like that. Uh, I'm honored to be here today, especially to this conference of idea. Uh, coming from where I was born in this country of Sudan, where freedom is not even allowed to some race, some human being. Uh, when I was a child, my freedom was being taken away. I was abducted and was given away as a gift to another family in which I was being treated as a slave for three and a half years. That being said, today I'm not uh, longer a slave, I'm a free man living in a free nation is speaking to the free people like I'm doing to you today. And the question has to be asked, what about those who are still in captivity? What about those who are still being victimized? What about those who are still being brutalized? Because when you talk about slavery, for some, uh, you have to think of going to read history books or read the Bible. But for me, it is a reality. For me, as a child, as a slave, the pain is real. I know what it means to be brutalized. I know what it means to be victimized. I know what it means to be in a situation where even I cannot say no. And that being said, as long as I'm now a, a free man, then knowing that I'm the one who knows the pains, I have to be the voice of those who have no voice. I have to speak up on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves because freedom is not free. Others will take it for granted, but I, for once, I'm lucky to be here today. I'm lucky to restore my freedom. I'm lucky to be free, but others are not lucky. You know, in Mexico, it's now a very big fight against what we call people treated. People that uh, take women, for example, sm uh, young women, and they slave it, and they abuse of them, and they use it like a property for many years, and they have sex, and they do many things to them because they are their slaves, and they are fighting very much about that. There is some people like Rossi Orozco and everybody trying to put some laws against that, and there are people that say somebody one day, uh, some day said that why we have to fight against that? It's something, it's something natural that it has to happen. I'm not sh sure that it's very natural. For, um, but for many countries, that's may maybe that's natural. To have a kid like a slave or to have it like that is natural. What do we, ca we can do not to be look at that like natural? You are absolutely right. There is nothing called natural when you have a child born, created from the image of God to be taken by somebody and on him or her as a piece of property. That itself, it is a gross violation of human, not only human right, but human being. Because there is no one entitled to own a human being. No a president, no a king. Then what about those who uh, takes, use their uh, power in their positions to own other people and use them in a form, and I'm glad uh, to, to, to see uh, the, the, the Holy Father last Monday when he was urging the, in the world community and everybody to step up a fight against the modern form of a slavery, sex slavery which is now is being used. It is even in Mexico, it is in India, it is even, and then use it on vulnerable people. And that is why people like us are humble and honored to be given a chance to be in an intellectual conference like this one, so that we should not be forgotten. We should not be left in, in the hands of the Bolshevik who are using people as sex slaves and the way they want they are doing it today. For many people, it's, I don't know nobody that is in slavery. What can I do? I don't know somebody, I don't, what is for a normal people their job to to avoid this, to fight against this slavery in this 
the 21st century. What can we do to fight against the, this? And which countries are the most uh, where you can see that, uh, this lever? You, you know, it's lever today, as far as we know, it is, it, it's coming in different form. It is not the slavery which used to, to be like you have to, to go to North Atlantic to get the slave from Africa and that. But slavery today come in different form. You have people being enslaved in Eastern Europe. You have people being enslaved in, in Asia. You have people being enslaved in Latin America. You have people being enslaved here even in Mexico. The slavery, it changed the color. The question has to come to us, we as human beings. Is it right for anyone to own a human being? That's the big question. Then if it is not right, then we have to stand up and say that this should not be tolerated. The government has to put in positions that such an activity should not be even allowed, especially in 21st century. You know, we work for a Jewish newspaper for Jews. It's a very uh, significant uh, uh, theme because it happened when it was the second war with the Holocaust, Nazis used uh, Jews in their concentration camps like slaves. It was a kind of slavery because they used them and when they, they didn't need them, they kill them. What do you think? And we're speaking about no, no long ago, 60 years ago, and we're speaking also today. What is, the, why can it be happening now after this Holocaust? Why people don't, don't, don't learn about this and still le letting people to have slavery, to, to have people that are not free? Why? And this is the question that we always put, uh, uh, you know, uh, ask, uh, people who consider themselves as free people, knowing that it will take somebody who is free to free somebody who is not free. It will take somebody who is in a position of moral authority who speaks on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. The question has to be asked again, when was it the last time for anyone as a free person to say this is wrong, this is immoral. Slavery is immoral, it is against any human dignity, and that itself should not be tolerated by any single freedom person. Leave out that should not be tolerated by the free world. Just to finish with this, what will you describe to be slavery? Because m many of us, like you have been taught, think about slavery like having somebody here and not letting him go out, but there are many ways to have somebody in slavery. What do you think it's, it's a definition or how can you see this person is in slavery? And that's why I'm saying slavery today is coming in different forms. Exactly. There are people being used as sex slaves. There are people being used as domestic slaves. There are people being used even as a, 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 a trafficking slave by taking things from different locations to the different location in which that the, the master don't want to put himself in jeopardy, but he will use the vulnerable persons to carry his evil things by using a vulnerable person, a person who is so weak, a person who cannot even have a moral authority to stand up for himself. And that's why we say that if you are a free person, look at that, the freedom you have. Don't take it for granted. There are people who need you. There are people who need your voice. There are people who need you to say this is wrong, this is immoral. Thank you very much.